And I think the most important thing about these land acknowledgements is they're, they're asking indigenous people, how do we do this? Because they don't know how. And I think that's, um, there's some mixed feelings when I talk to different uh, uh, indigenous scholars about that. Uh, but I always go back to say, if we don't show them how to do this, they're not going to know how. They really don't. And um, at, at 55 years old, um, as a native person, I I can't say um, I'm surprised, but some of the like blatant uh, stereotypes or, or like like in-your-face racism that people are just will just say to you, out of just the sheer normalization of erasure that we've experienced, uh, tells me that colonialism and to get to decolonization, they're going to need our help because they don't they really don't have that perspective of understanding uh, an indigenous perspective and not even an indigenous perspective, but a perspective of equity. And so we need to help shift that narrative. We have to be do that work. Now, having said that, we'll set that right here. At the same time, we get tired. And we don't want to have to do the heavy lifting for the, for the, for the, for the allies, right? So we'll, we'll get you started. But the heavy lifting has to be in your part. Uh, that's, that's very important. A very important book, and it's good for all ages, uh, this is a, a collection of traditional stories from our people right here that have been passed down for who knows how long. Um, but I want to say that um, when I wrote this book, I wanted to do it, have some different styles I wanted to try out. And so this, these stories are told through Crow and Bear, are the narrators of the story and um, of these traditional stories. So Crow in this story had gone through a very traumatic experience and you'll, that gets unveiled in the story. And one of his best friends, Bear, comes along and helps him out. And Crow is a storyteller. And so Bear says, why don't you start telling some stories? Tell me a story. And Crow's like, I can't. I'm all messed up. I can't tell a story. And Bear's like, come on. Give it a try. And it's, and it's really neat how these two, these two beings, these two relatives of our, of our community, Bear and Crow, and they're kind of having this chit-chat. And in between, you're hearing stories. You're hearing about, like, so it's like a story within a story, just like a dream.